this is Fast J, and today we are going to talk about Dead or Alive 7. So, where is Dead or Alive 7 actually? Tecmo kind of <coughs> Dead or Alive 6. And how or what should they fix? So, uh, let's talk about it. As a longtime fan of the series who has t spent too much time on Dead or Alive 4, it was uh, one of the first Xbox 360 fighting games you could buy. I really fell in love uh, with that game, and I really liked the different mechanics and the characters. But um, underneath all of the fluff was a great fighting game in my opinion. If Tecmo brings it back, uh, this is what they should do in my opinion. So first off, fix the DLC apocalypse thing. Uh, I mean that was one of the main points that all the fans and a lot of uh, media outlets have uh, yeah, reported about is that the game just had too much DLC. It was yeah kind of greedy and um tecmo should really focus on bringing back uh the fighting game with a great base base game with enough content and then also maybe think about size roadmap for the dlc because they did, did it, it seemed like they didn't really had a dlc plan and uh yeah the dlc was kind of all over the place so content will be spread out uh, and with uh, more fairer prices for the DLC itself, then maybe people will buy the DLC that they like. Do it! So next up, I would say a better story mode. Looking at the Dead or Alive story modes from past games, they weren't really good. They were not really fun or interesting and they were also kind of hard to follow. They were all over the place and hopefully they will prove in this they should look for inspiration at our competition in my opinion i mean uh, the story boats in all those games before six were also not really great so hopefully they improve on this so next up better netcode and crossplay so kind of a given that they should approve the better uh, the netcode and uh, implement some form of crossplay this time in age i do think that the netcode should definitely be improved upon in any fighting game, sure there are m multiple fighting games from Arc System Works that have great netcode. Their competition definitely needs to brush up uh, their their netcode, and um, yeah, th their real life is no exception. Adding crossplay uh, for a fighting game is also quite great. It should uh, improve the fighting game pools of uh, yeah fighters you can uh, fight against. In my opinion, it's a no-brainer to add this. They will do it. That's another question uh, entirely, but I do hope they will in the end improved environmental attacks so dead or alive was one of those series that made multi-stage fighting and interactable stages mainstream great at the time but uh, the last iterations of dead or alive were kind of bland when it came to multi-stage fighting and interactions with the environment and i hope that they look back at games like dead or alive 3 and 4 because those games had better interactions and better multi-stages in my opinion so Hopefully they will be a bit more creative this time around. So next up I would say improvements to the ground game. Uh, at the moment Dead or Alive doesn't really have great fighting game mechanics when you're on the ground. Not that you don't have moves but the options are quite limited. And I hope that they will improve on this and give every character at least some yeah, a universal move so that everyone can get its way around things and also make it so that you don't lose all of your momentum when you get on the ground because at the moment when you get on the ground you don't really have a lot of options to do a quick get up or something like that it it really depends on the character you're using and playing so hopefully they will change this and uh yeah improve uh, the ground systems next up meter management or a better meter system at the moment is just quite unbalanced and uh, too easy to gain meter uh, they should gain this, rebalance it and into consideration that it's not needed to always have meter all the time during the match. Uh, maybe when you're on the losing side that you get a bit more meter. In my opinion, sh they should take into consideration that meter gain shouldn't be the primary reason to have a meter to begin with. It should be part of the game, um, but not the deciding factor in a match, in my opinion. So next up, improved supers. So the supers in Dead or Alive aren't bad. 
but in my opinion they could be a bit more universal useful supers because some characters do have useful supers and others don't so in my opinion they should rebalance that and maybe give characters more options when it comes to supers so that users can maybe select between one or two supers uh, prior to the match starting so yeah we'll have to wait and see if they will change this but i hope they do because in my opinion Looking at, for instance, at Street Fighter, it has improved those games in the past, so why wouldn't it with Dead or Alive? Uh, next point is more realistic aesthetic. So personally, um, I did like the cover uh, aesthetic of Dead or Alive 3. It gave a kind of a vibe that the game would be realistic. In the end, the in-game graphics didn't look uh, that realistic at all. Um, and I do know that not everyone likes this change, but in my opinion, graphics engines these days have enough graphical horsepower to create games that look really quite uh, pleasing to the eye and realistic at the same time. And in my opinion, to change up the series, uh, Tecmo should think about giving the game a bit more realistic look this time around. And yeah, Dead or Alive 3 cover really is for my, for me personally the way the, the the place they could look for inspiration to how like in the end. Next up is guest characters from other series. So in the past, Dead or Alive has brought in guest characters from different fighting game series. They have brought in fighters from Virtual Fighter. Maybe we can do this again for the new game. They have brought in May from King of Fighters. So maybe they can add this time around, I don't know, Tekken characters or something. I mean, it would be really great to, to bring in more of those characters because in my opinion, Tecmo has done a great job of adding characters into their franchise while not feeling yeah, alienated or strange that they were in the roster. They, they did kind of fit great into the roster in my opinion. So, yeah. so this is maybe a reference to Street Fighter, uh, for Street Fighter series. Uh, Street Fighter has yeah, done this in the past that they added characters from Final Fight and maybe Tecmo uh, Koei can do the same with um, with their own series like Ninja Gaiden or Neo. I mean it would it, 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 it they have proven that Ryo Hayabusa is a great adversary in addition to the roster so why not add maybe characters from Neo or other series uh, from Koei Tecmo. So I'm really interested in seeing if they will do this but in my opinion yeah they've done it in the past it worked and uh yeah if capcom can do it and 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 tecmo uh, has done it in the past why not again right uh, next point is um, better balance between the the roster so overall if you look at the roster of uh dead or Alive series overall you see that a lot of characters are mostly female and it's not that I'm against female characters, but in my opinion, because there are so many female characters, it makes the male characters yeah, yeah, roster yeah, kind of sparse. So in my opinion, they should balance that out a little bit more. And maybe if they are really adventurous, they could add um, maybe not only uh, humans, but also maybe cybernetic characters more, or maybe more demon-like characters, or other kinds of characters animals i don't know uh, they can go all out of it what whatever they would like but in my opinion they should balance it out a bit more and i do understand that a lot of people do like the female characters but um yeah maybe from a community point of view not a lot of people take the game serious because of the fact that it's mostly being focused on you know what i mean add in a more robust character customization so yeah that's also some of that i'm like that i do think a lot of fans were disappointed with with dead or alive 6. they did finally add more customization options all those microtransactions <laughs> it, 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 and 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 over what um, I really hope that they fix this and take some inspiration from Tekken or Soul Calibur when it comes to uh, character customization. I mean, those games did it much a much better job in my opinion. So that was it for this um, this video. What do you think that Terror Life sh uh, 7 should be like? Uh, tell us in the comments down below. Uh, like and subscribe for more content like this. And thank you for watching. And I hope to see you at my next one.
Take care.